Hi, my name is Carol Pinchewski. I'm a blogger with Forbes. Here's my review of Quantum Conundrum by Airtight Games. In it, you play a young boy visiting your mad scientist uncle, Professor Quadrangle, at his manor. But then your uncle disappears into another dimension. Quadrangle's disembodied voice, played by John Delancey, provides a running commentary and occasional help in your quest to re-embody him. Just remember, you need enough change in the mass to build up enough mechanical energy. To do that, you have to work your way through a series of increasingly complex puzzles to open the door on the other side. And if that sounds familiar, maybe because you've played in another game just like it. I'm of course referring to the 2010 game, The Ball. Just kidding. Quantum Conundrum is a lot like creator Kim Swift's first and most famous game, Portal. It has weight-activated buttons that open doors and safes that are cube-shaped. But instead go, go, go. of portals, you have to manipulate four dimensions. The fluffy dimension lets you pick up heavy objects. The heavy dimension makes those objects a window-smashing weapon. The slow dimension lets you slow down time. And the reverse gravity dimension can be used to send objects to the ceiling. In addition to four dimensions, you'll find that you area. use the normal dimension a lot, too. With only four dimensions, gameplay sounds simple, but Quantum Conundrum's level that. design always challenges yeah, gamers, and it makes them think, that. which makes solving a level that much more satisfying. Some of these puzzles are serious brain benders, and a few of them require precise timing and ninja-like reflexes. It's frustrating at times, but if you enjoy platform games, or if you've played games like Portal or Braid, you know exactly what you're getting into. The game's dialogue ranges from cute to groan-inducing. Talk about leap of faith, huh? But the really funny moments can be found in the loading screens after your character dies. Character death is rarely this entertaining. But despite some excellent elements, the interiors are repetitious and become uninteresting after a few levels. Professor Quadrangle's manor doesn't feel like a home. It felt more like, well, Aperture Science's testing facility, which is great if you're trying to recreate Portal, but not so much if you're not. You can return to the Great Hall at any time to replay levels you've already completed, to find collectibles and blueprints you may have missed, and to beat the time or dimension shift challenges for each level. I have to mention I did suffer a complete loss of my game progress at one point. Airtight Games was able to help me out, but I had to knock off a point of the review for it. Despite some flaws, Quantum Conundrum is an entertaining way to pass the time, an average of 10 hours, and well worth the $14.99. So I'm making a note here. Success. Not huge, but a success nevertheless. 7 out of 10. This has been the Forbes Games video like review of Quantum Conundrum. Fall. I'm sorry, I'm a little tense.